Hey, welcome back to Polysthetic. This will be a quick tutorial on how to pixelate shaders. So let's run our default scene here. Let's press Shift A and add a plane. Now here, let's switch to the shader editor and we'll go to object mode. So let's create a new material here. We can just keep our default principle BSD. Here. What I'm gonna do is add a noise texture just to demonstrate this. You can feed out color into the base color here. So we just get random colors. And I'm gonna increase the contrast. So we'll add a new bright contrast node in between. Just so you can see the effect more easily. Okay. Now to pixelate this shader, let's add a texture coordinate node. Okay. Then next we add a vector map node. Now here we're gonna set this mode to snap. Yeah. And then we'll take the UV coordinate and pass it into our vector. And this output of the vector snapping operation into the input of the noise texture. Now to change this increment, let's add a new math mode. Set this mode to divide. Pass this value into the increment, so they're all the same. Now for the numerator, we're gonna set that to one. For the denominator, I'm just going to add a value node just to make it clear what I need to vary. Put that to here. This one here will adjust the resolution of the, of the final shader. So if I set this to eight, you can see that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The object has a resolution of eight by eight. That's how that works. And so as you increase this value, the resolution increases or the pixelation decreases. Yeah, and that's how you pixelate textures, pixelate shaders. Now you can use this, for example, to generate a pixelated starry sky. So for example, Let's click on the viewport shading options here and click scene world. Let's go into the world shader. We can paste these nodes. And here we can pass in the noise factor output into the color of the background. Instead of using the UV, we should use the generated coordinates. You can see some pixelation there. Now here, let's add a color ramp in between the output of the noise and the input of the background, and we can slide the black across. Now we can increase our resolution and increase the scale of our noise texture. So you can tweak the parameters and you've got a very, very simple night sky. Pretty straightforward. I wonder if you wanted to pixelate this rendered image to fake some sort of pixel art effect. What you can do is go into your compositor node and click use nodes here. Now what this does is you're scaling your image down and then you're scaling it back up again, but you're preserving the hard edges of pixelation. So let's say, for example, we add two scale nodes. Here, let's add a math node. We'll set this one to divide, set the numerator to one. And here we're going to add a value node. This will be our scale factor. So let's set it to eight, for example. We can pass the value here. We can then take this value into the X and Y. Feed the output of the render into this node, this first scale node, and then push it into the second. And then we scale up again this way. So first we take the scale factor, we, we take the inverse of it, so one over eight, and we scale the image down. Then we scale it up again. Now, if we render this, 
uh, nothing happens here. But if we add a pixelation node in between and we hit F12, we get a pixelated version of our original image. If we add a viewer node, take our image output, our image editor here, and look at the render results. We can see how this looks in real time. There you go. Thank you for watching. This is a short and sweet tutorial on how to pixelate shaders and how to pixelate your renders as well. Now, if you want to achieve a true pixel art look, you will probably need to do some sort of perceptual color mapping from the colors in this image into a limited palette or something like that. Um, so that, that's, that's a bit more complicated. And if you're only working with still images, you'd probably want to do something like render out an image and then trace over it uh, to, to refine that final image. Otherwise, if you're doing like a quick and dirty pixel art animation, if you keep your lighting quite even and your camera as orthographic, you can actually get a pretty convincing look just like this. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you took something away from that. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, please put them in that little box down below. And I'll see you in the next video.